Hey everyone, Case here, and welcome back to the limited time Death Day questline. Like usual, you only have a certain amount of time to complete when these pop up. This one, you have to be year two past chapter two, I believe, in order for it to pop up. I'm halfway there. Basically what's going on is that there are two ghosts. There is Sir Nicholas, who's a ghost, and then there's Earl the Great, who is a special guest, who traveled to Hogwarts. Their death dates are on the same day, Halloween. And their bonding heads can neither one of them want to share. So there's going to be two parties, and I'm in charge of Sir Nicholas's, and Fat Friar is in charge of Earl the Great. I've already sent out the invitations. And now I have to make more planning with Nicholas. Good news, Sir Nicholas. All the invitations have been delivered. <laughs> Splendid. It looks like we're one step ahead of Erling the Not So Great on that front. Hmm. Unfortunately, it appears that we're behind when it comes to the matter of food preparation. Uh. I keep hearing all the ghosts talking about what kind of deliciously spoiled feast Erling has promised them. What have you thought about serving at your death day party? <laughs> I have been kicking around a few ideas, but I haven't arrived at any firm conclusions yet. I do know that I want to present my guests with a 12 course meal. Hmm. But if we want it all prepared in time, I'll need to give the house elves final instructions as soon as possible. Let's go over what you have in mind so far. That way, we know what portions of the menu still need to be figured out. <laughs> You're such an effective thinker, Casey. I am indeed. <laughs> After my magnificent death day party, I won't be surprised when other ghosts look to you for helping plan theirs. Oh, you're too kind, Sir Nicholas, but let's not get distracted right now. <laughs> right, I want to present my guests with a full course meal. Twelve dishes created especially for goats. That sounds like an awful lot of work. And how do we know that house elves aren't doing it with Erling the Greats with their party? You know? I just don't see this going very well. The menu is settled. Once I deliver instructions to the house elves, I have a massive weight off my shoulders. Hmm. Now that it's leaves, hmm, let me think about this again. Oh. A venue, entertainment, music, and I'm not sure what else, but I know I'm forgetting something. I imagine that the venue would be the next thing to confirm, since it will inform what type of entertainment and music will fit your party best. <laughs> you got one good idea after another today. Hmm. An outdoor space might do the trick, but we'll need to find just the right one. <laughs> That way, there's room for everyone, naturally, and one up Erling at every turn. It won't even be a competition. Funny you mention that, I just spoke to the friar about that. Hmm. Uh, interesting. What did the good friar have to say? He asked me to talk to you about reducing any direct competition with Erling. But I didn't think you'd be interested. Hmm. You surmised correctly. Do you think there's a chance that Erling could put the fire up to speak to me? Hmm. It is possible. It is difficult to remove the fire's friendship with Erling out of his mess. Oh. Be honest with me, Casey. Am I taking this too far? No, you haven't gone far enough. Yes, you've gone too far. I mean, if neither are going to cooperate, just go all out. All things considered, I don't think you've gone far enough. No matter where I go in Hogwarts, I'm always overhearing ghosts talk about how excited they are for Erling's party. I wasn't expecting you to be so blunt, but I appreciate hearing the truth on this matter. Hmm. We will have to make more time to plan our next steps. Hmm. Enough gossip. We still have a party to plan. Oh. Do you know of a suitable outdoor space where I could host my death day party? Mm, I know the training grounds are often used for pre-match parties during the Quidditch Cup. Do you think that would work? Hmm. That's an attractive option. I imagine we would need to clear with Madame Hooch before being sure. <laughs> See if you can speak to her about this soon. We need to move quickly. It would be some kind of crazy if Erling already was one step ahead.
Excuse me, Madame Hooch, can I speak with you for a moment? Ah, Mr. KC, I've got a little bit of time before my next class. What's on your mind? I'm helping Neely have his Nick plan a test day party on October 31st. Ah. That's quite the responsibility. Yes, it certainly is. We were trying to secure a proper venue for the party, and I was wondering if the training grounds could be used. Hmm. Hmm. A death day party on the training grounds? I appreciate the request, but I will have to decline your request. Hmm. I don't feel comfortable with hosting a party stocked with rotten food on the grounds. We have enough problems keeping the gnomes away from the Quetta's pitch. I don't want to start trouble here. Oh, that's okay. I guess. Sorry to disappoint you, Casey, but keeping the ground pristine is a challenge. Huh. However, I know a thing or two about Hogwarts's ghost. Perhaps I could help you find a more suitable location. What else is left? There's really not a lot of options. What about the Forbidden Forest? A dark, cool place without a lot of light. Maybe the dungeons would be a better fit? Huh. Now that sounds like the perfect location for Sir Nicholas's death day party. I'm sure of it. On the plus side, it won't take much to make those dark halls feel especially festive for the ghosts. Thank you for your help, Madame Hooch. Mm -hmm. Madame Hooch and KC, a pleasure to see both of you. I was hoping... Huh. The Friday I wanted to speak to you about these lovely grounds. They're rather spectacular. Huh. I'll be sure to pass along your compliments to Hagrid. Unfortunately, I must be going. Before you leave, I wanted to get your approval to host my extraordinary event here on the training grounds. If she says yes, and I'm standing right here, ho ho ho. I see that great minds think alike. <laughs> ha ha. Yeah. And who might you be, sir? I don't believe we've met. <laughs> Some call me Erling, but you may call me Erling the Great. Well, Erling the Great, I'm afraid that I can't approve of that. Casey just asked me about that and... <laughs> oh, don't be confused, madame. This isn't for all Necklace Nigel's death day I'm inquiring about my party. <sighs> I don't care if it's a death day party for Merlin himself. The answer is still no. Now, excuse me, I must be on my way. Uh... No? Listen here. If you just give me a moment of your time. Oh. I just don't know what to do with Erling. It's one thing after another with him. What's going on? I know he's insistent, but I haven't seen him hound the staff of Hogwarts like that before. Oh. I'm afraid that Erling has let the fame and notoriety go to his head a bit. Mm. It is the same thing that happened to him when he was living. Mm -hmm. Funny how that happened, isn't it? I suppose so. It's a man through his death party or too much, and he won't listen to anyone telling him no. Is there anything that you can do about it? Sometimes I think about sending him down to ask him why he's asking for all these unnecessary decorations. Other times I feel like I should plan the event myself and stop asking for his opinion. What do you think I should do? Sit Erling down for a talk, take matters into your own hands. It doesn't sound like he's going to listen, but... At the same time, I think that maybe he should hear it. So he can maybe think in his mind, hey, maybe I am acting really, really stupid. You're good friends with Erling. You should be able to talk about this, even if it is a tough conversation. Perhaps I've been avoiding a confrontation with him because it's been so long since we last saw each other. If he's going to listen to anyone, it's going to be a friend like you, Fire. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening to my troubles, Casey. I can see why Sir Nicholas chooses to ask you for help with his death day party. Speaking of, I better get back to Daily Hell's Nick. He's waiting on party venue options. You know, I'm trying to get into this whole thing, but... Like I said at the end of the previous video, for part two, I'm just bouncing around to different people and talking the whole time. Over halfway, and the, I mean, we, get, we got to... I mean, we got to meet Merlo, which was really neat, and I might be taking her to the party, but maybe if she was more of a focal point? So, Nicholas, I know you had your heart set on your death day party at the training grounds, but... Hmm. I do not like where this is going. But, how would you feel about hosting the party in the dungeons? Hmm. 
The dungeons. Hmm. That sounds like it would be a dim, cold, and very, very dusty place. Quite the macabre setting. We can fix it up for you if you wish. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> a few candles, the undead glow of the goat. It'll be a spectacularly atmospheric affair. I love it. <laughs> well done, Casey. You always come through for me in the most delightful ways. Be sure to thank Madame Hooch next time you see her. She helped me think of it. <laughs> Good to note. I'll set my regard the next time that we meet. Now, we must turn our attention to food again. Hmm. I believe I nearly caught a whiff of Erling's feast that the house elves are preparing. At least, that's what some Gryffindor students informed me of this morning. Hmm. If we want to best Erling's party, I figured we could take a sneak peek at what the house elves have been brewing. <coughs> so that's what I saw the house elves working on this morning? Yuck. <coughs> you saw what they were preparing? Yes, but only briefly, as I passed by the kitchen. I didn't want to stick around. All the food was rather vile. Be respectful, Marula. That's food for someone's death day party. But, can you tell us what they were making? What did you see? Mm. Let me see if I can recall. That's all I can remember right now. Thinking about this too much will turn my stomach. Hmm. It sounds like Erling has quite the feast planned. But spread should be just as plentiful. It's a good thing we got sorted out on the menu when we did. <laughs> if you really want to bet Erling's silly little party, you should preserve his food. That'll show him. Of course, you'd suggest something like that, Marilla. <laughs> there wouldn't be much of a death day party without rotten food now, right? Hmm. That would be a very sneaky and devilish tactic. Only the lowest of low would do something like that. Ugh. And? Hmm. And I don't think that type of trickery is very sportsmanlike. Nearly has a snack. Shouldn't we be focused on our death day party feast? <coughs> do you want to show this Erling guy what for or not? Hmm. I do, but I don't know if I should support such skullduggery. Oh. Because he did tell me I haven't gone far enough to compete with Erling. <laughs> Sometimes you need to give your competition an extra push to show them who's boss. Hmm. An extra push doesn't sound that bad. Maybe this is something I need to reconsider. Oh. Casey, would you be willing to preserve Erling's food? No, I'm not comfortable with that. Yes, this will give us an edge. I would say obviously no. That's just gonna butt heads even more, so let's just go no. Although it probably will make a difference. This crosses the lines for Nicholas. I don't think sabotaging Erling's party is a good idea. Hmm. Hmm, you're probably right. Ugh. Oh, boo-hoo. Why are you wasting your time with KC? I'll do it. You will? <laughs> I know you're not my house ghost, but you're a house ghost for Hogwarts. We're on the same team. Hmm. Alright, I believe this is my best course of action. Sure, you asked for my opinion and I don't want it. I'll summon you to the Great Hall when the time is right. I don't like this. I really, really, really don't like this. Alright, well, it's time to scheme with Marula, even though I don't want to do it. If I want to outdo Erling, we need to preserve the food plan for his death day party. Let's hurry up. This place keeps me the creeps at night. I know you weren't especially keen on this, Casey, but I hope I can still depend on you for this. Hmm, I'm not so sure about this. I'll keep a lookout while two of you start casting your spells. We'll need to work quickly and quietly, and I don't want anyone to know that we're here. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> Just watch me, I have a knack for this type of thing. Oh my goodness! Well, I guess this makes sense. We haven't had a lot of 8 hour quests so far. Wonderful, the food is frozen solid. <laughs> now, the two of you should get out of here before... Freeze! Ugh. That's just what we did. Casey, Marula Snide, and nearly hail as Nick? 
You, you froze all the food that was being prepared for Erling's death day party. I am appalled. Excuse me for a moment, Professor, but... I thought I heard something funny happening in here, but I had no idea that such a misbehavior was going to go on here. I'm going to need you to explain yourselves. Who is responsible for this? I am responsible. This is Marula's fault. Nick is responsible. I still went along with it even though I didn't want to. So I might as well accept the responsibility. This is my fault, Professor. I didn't stop them when I should have. KC, don't. Fifteen points will be taken from Gryffindor for this. Ha <laughs> ha. That'll be fifteen points from Slytherin as well. It would be why to remain silent for now, Miss Snide. I need to have a word with Mr. Mimsy Porkington in private. Mr. Casey, Miss Snide, please wait outside in the courtyard. Yes, Professor. So a few things. How long was this supposed to stay frozen for? The second thing, if it's such an empty room, why can I still hear people? In my ears. It's like people are there, but they're not. Anyway, that is it for the third part and for the fourth and final part coming up, the night of the dueling death day parties approaches. But is Nick ready to host this event? I don't know who's ready, to be perfectly honest. It seems like Sir Nicholas is a little bit further ahead, other than the food. But we'll see what happens, I guess, moving forward in the final parts of the limited time death day update. So thank you very so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.